Most of the time they feed on what? Butterflies. Um, food. Anything else? I don't think they can live very long. Smell out! Smell out! It's on the back of that! Smell out! Smell out! Smell out! Smell out! Smell out! Smell out! Stick in there, isn't it? They're all together, look. <laughs> you got the blue one at the back? Yep. Well, all they need to do is find the eggs and make some put the seeds and eggs on there and put them on the netting. They need about a week. What's all them dead? It has to be processed before they eat. Right, I'll show you some bits of the butterfly life cycle now. Right, I've got a butterfly egg. Why is she laying it? Which side is she laying it on first? How did they get out of here? Hello. <laughs> They've actually got really big, thick, strong back legs. You see them? And they can break a pencil with those back legs. And they've got big spines on them. And what they do, they grab hold of anything that's attacking them and they dig them in, dig their spines in. Investigate it's the flower. It grabs it with a front pair of legs. See, it's got like spines on its front pair of legs. It grabs them and eats them. Sting, but it can bite. And it's actually got it's got spines on its legs. What's that? That, that right? Well, that thing there. This is a female, and that although it looks nasty, that is called its ovipositor, and it uses that for laying eggs. That's what it uses for laying eggs. It's not a spear or anything. It doesn't spear. What's the bite like? It's, like, it's painful. It's not. Well, it can't bite me because I've got it in a place where it can't turn around and grab me. Oh, gee, right, insect's body, now. three parts, right? They've got a head like us with all their bits on. And they've got a middle bit, which is like our chest, called the thorax. As bad as a bee sting. And it hurts more than the venom. You don't really get any bitten by one of these. I've been bitten. Some species are nasty and they'll bite you, but you don't handle those ones. But these ones, this is a Chilean rose ones, and they're like about the most docile spider you can get, and just very, very gentle. Oh. Oh. And very you mean to hold it? 
Pardon? Pardon? We see the two lumps on the front of its head. Those are its fangs. Pardon? No, I no it's not. To, bite, to get it to bite you, you really have to provoke it. I see what kind of you got. Kimberly with large beard. Ben. Yeah, he's very, very gentle. Oh, it's just like a bit more fun. Put me up. That, that, that. Mr. Scrape, big one over there. Put me over here a bit. See it now. Oh, just describe a bit of it. Yeah. Well, if you move, take a step back, you'll see it wider. Well, it doesn't look like being on video, does it? Shy. It's not a film. Huge, that one is. It's got a big thrill. Or it eats me. It's still opening its wings. Yeah. It's opening its wings as well. Together. Together. We, played a short, we went into a room and played a short game with milk crates. And the man said it was a. We had about 20 or 30 milk crates. And the man says each milk crate represents a part of the rainforest. And we all had to stand on the crates and the man took two crates away each time. And each time you had to try and keep your balance. And when the people, when the people fell off, they were supposed to be a species of animal, animals which were getting, be, becoming extinct. After we had played the game in, in the little room, after we had played our game in the little room, we went into the... <laughs> after we had played our game, we went into the shop to buy some souvenirs. After that, we went into the butterfly room. In the area where all the butterflies were, we saw loads of chrysalises that were beginning to hatch. We saw some butterflies that had just come out of the chrysalis and they couldn't fly very well because their wings were weak. One butterfly landed on me, but, and I couldn't get it off. Then we went into the insect room, where there's trapdoor spiders, scorpions, redbacks, more trapdoor spiders, funnel web spiders, I mean, there was even a alarm box around the redback spider. I mean, who's going to steal a redback spider? They'll probably kill themselves in the process. It's pretty silly, isn't it? And if one of those escapes, I think you know about it, wouldn't don't you? A few dead bodies lying all over the butterfly farm. We even got to hold a tarantula, which was pretty scary for the children that held it. I tried to get in there, but I didn't help hold it. I tried to make myself look big, but I wasn't really. They, the funnel web spiders were ever so small. Their funnels you could hardly see through. That's why they had half of it on the glass. Half of it on the glass. The spiders were hairy, and it said if you touch the hairs, then the hairs will roll off onto your fingers and make your fingers very itchy. This was very good in the insect room because it told you all about the insects and where they live. We saw. I, I even saw a traps tour eat a locusts which is very scary for the locusts. I mean, I think it's a bit cruel, because they don't exactly have a lot of choice, do they? But the man gave us, well, we all split into different groups, and the man gave each group a piece of paper with an insect on or a butterfly. When we had found the butterfly or insect, we had to tell the man, and he would give us something at home to find some sick insects and put them into the pot. Um, we also went for a little walk around to see the iguanas. Then we finally got a chance to relax on a lovely green by the boats. We all had our lunches around us and some of us went to see the boat. Then some of us, including me, went to have a game of rounders, which was very fun and we even had to, we tried out the new stumps, while some people were sitting down relaxing and eating their ice cream. I can't remember who won, but I can remember it's a really good game. I'd just like to say thanks to Chris, our cameraman. Bye!